Hey folks, this is Decoherent, and welcome back to RimWorld. So, lots of excitement abounds today. So our poor caravan is coming back from kind of an, I don't know, ignominious defeat at a competition. So this was supposed to be like an artistic expo, and I had the idea in my head that you would send someone off and they would, you know, whip up some miracle work of art to amaze the crowds. But I had the suggestion that maybe you're supposed to take an amazing piece of art with you. Anyway, it doesn't matter. The point is, Cal is going to get some well-deserved alone time. It's like a day walk back. It'll be nice just to be out by himself. He's an artist. This will give him a chance to kind of collect his inspiration and stuff like that. Next up, a small mystery. So, when I tested the whole disassembling our old mech thing, it exploded. And it was a big problem. So I've been kind of holding off on that. And I went back to my little test thing and disassembled a similar mech, and it didn't explode. Okay. So I did it a third time. And when I was looking carefully, what actually happened was, is when the mech was disassembled, the turret spawned installed and hostile next to it. It had like one hit point, and so my colonist duly turned around and punched it, and it exploded. So this is actually not that difficult to work around. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reinstall the machining table over here connected to the power supply for the turret, right? And then I'll just have someone stationed by the switch. I'll have Sky 2 come disassemble the mechanoid. She can easily tank a shot or two from a turret straight to the face. Most likely it won't even scratch the paint. So then we'll, you know, disassemble the turret and everything will be fine. So we'll do that here very shortly. Speaking of things, um, I should really get the Vanimetric power cell and the AI core installed. I am going to put the next ones in my Thor. Because although the Inferno cannon is not necessarily a safe weapon, it is kind of fun. So we'll go ahead and we'll plonk those in there. That'll be fun. Who has the other Vanimetric module? Katie might get another AI core. Oh, I guess I've only got one. So... It looks like Mythor is probably going to get both. We'll get to those momentarily. I also want to grab another Scyther because I really like Scythers. They're not particularly effective in the numbers that I can field, but much like the Shredder turrets, they're safe to use indoors. So that's pretty great. Um, let's see here. Everything else looks pretty good. I do want to build a long-range mineral scanner because we're going to need more data for our nascent rogue AI here. So I've got three things that I want to do more or less simultaneously here. We need to put the ship together and get the sequence startup going, because that takes 10 days. I want to bootstrap our rogue AI up to maximum level, and then we need to go wipe out a base or two. Um, these guys, the purple spider Kamba, are they the ones that I decided? Yes, they're the ones that I've decided were responsible for Sky. I actually don't know anymore, but I've decided they're the ones I'm going to nuke, so we'll take care of them at the same time. Otherwise, things are looking good. I tweaked the bill for cooking a little bit just to make sure that no one who's dumb comes in and tries to cook anything. Actually, let me fix all these. I think you need... Yeah, you need a cooking skill at 8 anyway, so I don't need to do that. And the fine meals... Um, it doesn't really matter. There's a cooking skill of 6 anyway. So just in case someone is coming in and doing it. You can also, in the mod settings for hospitality... Um, you can disable the guests from helping around the base. So it may just be that some guest who was stupid was cooking. But since I've changed the bill, I think that will be okay. What else? Nothing. Everything else is looking great. I tweaked some priorities a little bit so that some people will fall through to crafting faster to get some of the stuff smelted and stuff. Um, I think I am going to rebuild this oil well. There's actually not a ton of oil here. Only 28,000. I don't think we'll run out, but we might. So I think that all I have to do is rebuild just the oil well top and not spend like a thousand years rebuilding and like redrilling the whole thing. So we'll find out. Tattered apparel, sparkles. Um, what are you wearing that's tattered? Oh, your flak vest. Okay, well, I tell you what. You know what? Oh no, you're not even required to wear that. That's right, I did clear that. Well, whatever. Deal with your problems then. Okay. Decorated and detected black pixels surrounding this area. Source of most incoming evil something. I missed it. Hopefully that wasn't too dangerous. Anywho. Um, yeah, I could do some research, but I don't care. Are you guys done building this yet? Seriously. Finish it up. This is quick, this is easy, and I'm not going to lay out the spaceship until you're done with it. So, do it. Millennium is on a fire starting spree again. Where are you? Are you buying anything expensive? No. Not really. Brax, put out the fire. Ah, uh, whatever. Um, visitors, that's fine. Sky2, um, you're up. Why don't you come move this machining table and let's get this uh, whole mechanoid thing solved. You're down there, so it'll be no big deal. Okay, so. Sky2. Um, not applied to smithing. Sky2 smithing. And I need someone right here, standing next to the switch. Where's someone humanish? Valley, you're hungry, so I'll let you eat. Brax, you're happy. Come here. So Sky Two, 
disassemble. And let's see if my whole stupid idea works. <laughs> yeah, fire. People will take care of it. It's okay. Alright, let's see if I'm right about this. Here we go. And... Flip the switch. And... Oh, it spawned too far away. Aha! Uh -huh. Cool. Um, I'm actually going to deconstruct this one. Because I do not trust it to not be hostile when we come back. <gasps> we got all three of these modules back. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's really... That's... I am a happy camper at this exact moment in time. Cool. All right. Well, let's go ahead and let's hack one of these mechs quick. And then um, we can go get, start modifying the others. So, Kunike, why don't you come working on this stuff? Um, I did set up a bunch of lights and stuff. You guys are right. Like, this base is not terribly well lit. So, it will be shortly. Okay, come back. Modify. Yeah, someone will take care of the fires. What's the worst that could happen, right? Right. And success! Hooray! And let me look at my names here. Alright, looking good. Go ahead and get repaired. And let's go ahead and let's put those modules in, like I said. So you have... Okay, so you need a vanometric power cell. Yep. So you go ahead and get that one. And I'll put the AI in there too, but I want to make sure that I have my Thor doing these, because these are super expensive, and I don't want to deal with it. Humans are controlled by humans that are controlled by humans, completing the circle. Yes, the circle that has only three sides. That circle. Okay, can someone come build this last section here, please? Um, same thing, Kunike, come work on this. Actually, Waffle, you're pretty good at this stuff too, right? Um, you're sick though, so let's let Kunike do it. I would actually like you to rest. Are you not set to rest? You should be. You should be set to bed rest. Resting, okay, good. Yeah, you've had a rough day. It's okay. You have decided to throw a party. Oh, this could not come at a better time. Well, actually, maybe it could be, but it's a pretty good time for it. All right. Mind you, I wish you had finished installing this. Oh, did you? You did. Perfect. All right. Hooray for parties. I tell you what, while everyone's drifting around having fun at a party... Oh, I missed a segment. I am going to go ahead and design the spaceship. One moment, please. Wow. Wow. It took me one second. I didn't have a chance to place a single piece, and you guys started a social fight. You were insulted. Why were you insulted? Oh, accidentally insulted. You guys were in the middle of a party, and you had a social fight. Also, Wolf here, Sky will kill you. Like, super kill you. So, you better back off. Well, that was a short party. Alright, back to the ship. Okay, we'll just start with the basic units here. Um, this doesn't this doesn't really matter at the moment. If you're wondering, Deco, doesn't it bother you that these things are still not like nice squares so you can line them up? The answer is yes. Yes, it is true. Um, I think we can just go ahead and build all these things right away, right? Yeah, well obviously we're not gonna have enough advanced components, so just go ahead and start hauling stuff. It'll take a while, but it's okay. So do I need to let's see here. Kunike, you're tending. Okay, go ahead and tend. From your bruises, from your stupid fight with each other. Okay, um, he can get his own food. Can you come? So I think I need to actually make this thing less happy. Um, let's see here. Only when there's a desire to feed the AI with more data when its mood levels are already at maximum. It's at 100%. So I'll put some wise words. Well, what does Rulu mean? Need more data. Okay. I don't, I don't understand that. And that's probably the entire point. So go ahead and let's give you some more data. Yes, data's. Very good. Although you need 40 more, and I do not have 40 more. So let's go ahead and let's get this wall down. Let's get this uh, scanner built up here. So that's a nice safe place for it. Actually, maybe I shouldn't have you guys doing all this at once then. Because I need those components for other things. Here, just make, just make two bits so I don't forget about it. <laughs> that's probably a much better idea. Here, Furco, actually, since you're up here... Um, go ahead and just deconstruct all of these. Thank you. Just takes a few moments. And let's go ahead and let's plunk that in here. That's in miscellaneous, correct? Long range mineral scanner. I'm not sure I've ever made one of these. Oh, it's a job that requires operation too. Well, whatever. Oh, our caravan's back. Hello. And I don't think you I don't think that'll work if you rough it in. I think you have to remove it. So why don't you take that back out? And is this now set as home zone? It is not. But now it is. 
One colonist idle. Yeah, it's Vort. It's always Vort. I don't really have anything I feel like having Vort do, though, so... Whatever. Alright, so I've got some other bits and pieces. How... What should I do with you guys? What I'm going to do is I have a zone down here for body parts that's also going to get the uh, mechanoid parts so I can see what's going on. Oh yeah, the eye. That's for you, Sky. Um, why don't you have a bionic right eye? Come rest. And I'll have Kunike just come do it. Animal migration. Spleopedes. Okay, hold on a second here. Let me get everything else set up here quick. Spleopedes. That's kind of weird. You know what we should do is go kill him. Um, let's do that. In fact, let's just send the mechs out, because that'll be fun. Who can I control manually? Who's got... Let's see here. You, I can control manually. Come here. I'm gonna have you come pick a fight, and then I'm gonna release all the scythers to come get them. Why? Because it's funny. That's why. Uh, there. Go ahead. Humans need upgrades. I agree. Actually, I don't know if they'll go Manhunter or not. I guess we're about to find out. Hurry up. I mean, not that you can't take a bunch of spleopedes all by yourself, but it's funnier doing it like this. Okay, can I target directly? I sure can. Oh, will they not go Manhunter? Oh, that's mildly lame. I thought they would. Disappointing. Well, oh well. Well done. All right, well, I'll just keep my under my uh, myself entertained with this quick. Actually, you know what? Here, wildlife. If I set you out to hunt, and I can set you to drafted hunt, will you go do it manually? No, I think I have to guide you around, unfortunately. Well, whatever. Anyway, carry on. I should probably turn the rest of the mechs off. Yeah, deactivate. Thank you. Oh, right! And our other animal. Okay, who got moved? So, um, Antolino picked a fight, um, and died to one of the ground runners. I should have had you carried in here. Yep, here we go. So, yep, Antolino tried to attack a ground runner and then died. So, that was kind of sad, but honestly, I don't know what he was expecting. That was a terrible idea. So, that's what happened there. Hmm, you know, I'm struck with another idea. What we should probably do, what might be a good idea... Let's make some EMP shells. Oh, I never set up a high explosive shell bill. <laughs> uh, let's make all these. Uh, let's... Wait, what? No, that's not what I want. So, first of all, this should be set to have... I don't know, what? 15? Sure. Unpause it 10? Sure. Uh, but more importantly, let's make, say, 5 EMP shells. And let's scatter some EMP things around, in some uh, EMP IEDs around our base. Specifically in here with our rogue AI. So that just in case things go sideways, we could probably stun it long enough to run out to the ship. Possibly. Someone's eating these meals. Stop it. Alright, Sky 2 is back up on our feet. Excellent. Now I could actually have this thing uh, have no zaps. Will that make it less happy? Um, it doesn't look like it cares. Alright, good. Ooh, yeah, you know, I'd really better build this. So if I build it directly on top of here... Let's see, uh, let's see what happens. Let's see if that takes forever or not. Alright, so now that we have the EMP shells made, let's do... let's do a couple of these. I'm thinking of setting one in each room for drop-ins. So I could put one here. Oh, well, that's going to stun the turret as well, so maybe it's not terribly useful. Well, whatever. The point is, um, we need to put at least one in here. And I'm seriously considering putting two in here. Just in case. And then put a couple more out and around where they're not going to hit turrets. Right. But again, just to hopefully give us a chance to, you know, kind of escape. So, I think that might be a good idea. Um, is it dumb RP stuff? Probably. But, oh well. Oh good, the scanner's going. Tune to gold. Oh, that's actually cool. Um, but what I actually need, I think, is mech parts. I mean, we need gold, but... Oh, poor Vort is the one who's sitting outside here. You know what I think I can do? Um, I think I can cover you up from the rain, and let's give you a nice chair. 
if you're going to be the one who's up here using this because you will flip out. So why don't you have a synthaline chair? Yep. And I should floor this area in. Let's put something pleasant up here. Let's use the same linoleum that we were using down here. Tactile tile, huh? I don't know what that looks like. Let's put some in and let's see. And then maybe that will be a slightly less awful area for you to hang out in. Oh, and I can just hold this door open. Oh, hey, yeah, look. That was up quick. All right, cool. All right, good. Yep, yeah, we need that. I mean, we don't need it, need it, but it's good to have it. Type of need it. All right, so Furco's getting this put together. Well, okay, Furco was getting this put together. So, human organs are the foundation of the economy of this planet. Well, that's not weird at all. Let's, uh, let's piss it off a little bit. Because I need to fit some more stuff into it. Picking up signal from another planet. Back streets back all right. That's depressing. How about another one? Would you care for some tea? I would. But I think it's more likely that you're going to give me something that is almost, but not quite completely unlike tea. I'm <laughs> a self-destruct initiated. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Even in the future, nothing works. All right. Yeah, I don't have enough data. A bulk goods trader. Okay. Maybe they'll bring us data. You never know. It's possible. What does this stuff look like? That's eh, all right. And actually, Furco, um, when you're done eating, just come build this chair. I know you may not necessarily be the best, but go ahead and just come do that. Oh, and this could have a light as well. Let's give you a nice white light instead of a weird one. And if we put that in here, then it will not short. I tried putting red lights in here, but something in here is lighting things up, which is mildly annoying. All right, now, Vort, are you happier? Let's see here. Hey, check it out. You're happy. Disconnect a generator. Oh, yeah, that one. Oh, that could be mildly annoying. Um, in case I forget to mention this to you, Omater, uh, this should probably not be included as a generator because I do not want to attach this to my grid. I do not want to attach the ship's AI to our rogue AI at any point. Anyone who has watched uh, Colossus of the Forbin Project knows hooking together AIs is not a good plan. So there's that. All right, not much to discuss with these guys. Um, some meals that we don't need. Oh, chem fuel, that's right. I'm gonna start selling all the chem fuel I can, just cause, why not, right? So we'll sell some chem fuel. There's no point in buying components. Y yeah, we could use some more, but we'll just make them. It's no big deal. Um, cloth I don't care about. You can have our old helmets and a couple of statues. And that will be sufficient. Oh, a couple things I could do to keep people busy. Um, there's a whole bunch of steel down here from something that exploded. So we could come get a lot of this. That'll give our animals something to do too, right? Wait, I thought more of you could haul. Did you die or something? Um, I am slightly confused. Well, okay, never mind. Um, that'll give you guys something to do. And then... I don't remember what else. It put it right out of my mind. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Never mind, I guess. I turned the plasteel thing back on so that we have more plasteel coming. Although we have a ton of it, we've actually used rather a lot of it doing things like building walls. That may have been dumb. Um, I should probably be using composite instead, but I am trying to keep my crafters focused on advanced components. We've got the second engine here. These just take, we just need a lot of advanced components. Just lots of them. So I've got uranium going again too, so we'll um we'll have some of that at some point. Oh, I did remember something else I wanted to build. So these ships are extremely expensive, and it would be very, very difficult to rebuild anything that gets exploded. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put some turrets down here. Um we'll go ahead and we'll use uh composite, because we've got more of that now. We'll probably put let's see here, if we put one here and one here, does that cover everything fairly well? Yes. And that should keep any meddling bad guys away from our, you know, extremely expensive spaceship that I'm trying to build here. Let's run the power down here to it. There you go. I'll probably take out some of these plasteel walls and replace them with composite. Composite, though, you know, takes its own labor, so... So I'm missing a couple of helmets. Um, rather than continue to build simple helmets, we can afford advanced helmets. 
Um, it requires components in plasteel, but we can do that. We'll make a couple of those. People will start swapping them out, so I don't want to set up a hysteresis job for that. Mm. Eclipse, yeah, whatever. Um, I will set that back up for flak vests, though, because I want everyone wearing flak vests. So, Waffle will get to those. Maybe I should have bought those components. Because Valley is busy all the time just making plasteel and composite, so... I'm not sure that was necessarily the best of all possible ideas, but... Well, we'll see. Wolf fears in a day is because of minor pain. Okay. What's wrong with you, anyway? Recreation of a without table. Oh, nobody rebuilt these tables out here because I forgot to make them. Ah. Well, let's put a table out here so that you guys at least try to eat out here. Um. Let's see here. Table one by one. Plastic. Check. And we can put some regular chairs out here. Yeah, that'll give you guys a place to hang out. And I don't want to put a light out here because then it will just set itself on fire. All right. Oh god, there's a fire down here. Guys, get up, go put this fire out. It's on our pipeline. Okay, good. Problem solved. Never mind. Thank you. An oil spill. Oh yeah, we almost had this burn our base down once upon a time, didn't we? Yeah, we can just go ahead and we can just clean it up. Um, clean oil spill. Oh. One square, really? That's it? Oh, well, okay. That's no big deal. Ah. Apparently it looks like it would keep increasing, except that we fixed it. Ah, clever on us. Alright. Oh, check it out. I can make use of Vort. Vort can make the medicine here. Oh, that's great. And that's crafting, right? Where, where are you on this list? Something like that? I think so. Let's find out. Um, Kunike, back off a second here. Uh, Vort. Cannot make- oh. Cannot make medicine. Oh, cause you can't make- uh, never mind. Here, I thought that I'd found a use for you. That's mildly annoying that it lets you... Uh, yeah, crafting for intellectual for... Eh, alright, alright, alright. Never mind. So our biggest problem by far is going to be advanced components. So I'm actually going to suspend the composite and the uh, plasteel bills, just so everybody can just focus on, well, advanced components, quite frankly. We'll just kind of keep slowly building things, but it is going to take a long time. Ooh, an exotic goods trader. This could be useful. Maybe they have hive data. Still waiting on that scanner, by the way. Um, I figured out how to get Vort to prioritize it. It is an intellectual job, so that's easy enough. Alright, let's check these guys out. Phoebe, huh? And what do you have to say? Let's see here. Okay, so they've got some good stuff here. So we can buy 12 hive data. That's better than nothing. They have an advanced component. We'll just buy it. Um, most of the rest of this I want to hold on to. A Neuro Trainer might be nice. Do I need anyone? No, I don't need construction. If it was crafting, I'd probably buy it. Um, they can have the leg, but not the eye. And then the statues that we have made so far. And also, keep forgetting about these modules down here. So we've got a repair module, another power module, and a turret module. So, who needs what? You need... A turret module, and a vanimetric power cell module, and at that point, go ahead and have an AI. Y yes? Yes, do that. Mechanoid parts detected. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Back up. Okay, mechanoid parts detected. Um, right here. And that means there will be a lot of baddies. How far away is that, walking-wise? I mean, we're going to pod over probably 2.2 days. I'm going to pod over because I don't want to take the mechs with me. So I think that'll be okay. Sushi has inspired creativity, but you're not any good at creating things, are you? Well, no, not really, but kind of. All right, anyway, um, focus. Okay, so let's, um, let's see here. I made a turret. So go ahead and uninstall this while you're here. No, not man. Not assigned to constructing. Okay, so don't do that then. Millennium. Millennium. 
Come uninstall. I made the wrong damn thing. Never mind. Ah, uh, never mind. That's not actually what I wanted to do. There we go. Now we have, let's see here. Now we need to get this uninstalled. Whoever's nearby, go ahead and uninstall it. And let's go ahead and let's plunk that on top of Neil's. Um, mount military turret. Okay, so we're gonna wanna send an organic strike force. Oh, clearly we need at least one more advanced helmet. So let's go ahead and let's make that. Um, let's, yes. Who do I wanna take on that actually? That's a good question. Okay, I think I've got a nine-man strike squad shaken out. Man, of course, in the sense of humankind. Um, I'll have to show you in just a minute. I did a bunch of weapon swapping, too. But first, I want to make sure I've got all my drop pods ready. So let's just go ahead and let's get these set up. And how far away was this? I've already forgotten. Two point two days. Okay, so forty meals is probably not going to be enough. Let's make a couple more. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Um, this. Okay, well, while I was experimenting, setting this up here, I realized we may as well just go ahead and do this. So I'm taking, obviously, Neff, Wolf here, Bowen, Waffle, Furco, Fiona, Sky2, Sushi, and Valley. And I went and I swapped around weapons so that everybody has something that's useful at range. So none of the people that are coming have, like, the siege shotgun. Because I want to make sure that I can actually get some damage in. The other things that we need, we need... This is actually enough food. 2.9 days of food will be enough time, provided we don't take too many injuries. Um, all the packs of survival meals, one day's worth of fine meals. Um, this isn't enough. Let's take let's take 15, and then maybe two or three medicine, and then all the bedrolls, and that's actually it. That's really all we need to do. So go ahead and let's just load that up, actually. All right. Well, let's see if this is a good idea or not. Doesn't feel like a good idea. Drop at the edge, yeah. Guess we're about to find out. All right, what's the story here? Oh, a mystery building. Uh -huh. Well, isn't this adorable? All right. This is new to me. Actually, do you hear that? I think they're breaking out. Yeah, do you hear that? Yep. Okay, so what do we got? Okay, we've got a couple of Lancers, a couple of Scythers, and one Centipede. We should be fine with this particular setup. Let's get spread out. Sky 2... Here, hold on. I need these bubbles out of here. Sky 2 actually kind of needs to run point. There is cover around, but I don't think I'm going to worry about it over much. Um, either we're going to take these guys right away, or we're all going to die. And cover is actually not going to be super helpful here, because... Um, half these guys are centipedes anyway. Okay, take out the Lancers. Those of you with long-range weapons, which is not you, which is you. Lancer. Sky 2. Lancer. Furco. You can't reach the Lancer. Sushi. Whoa, you better pull back. You're right up close to, uh, this Scyther right there. Okay. Come on, take those guys down. Oh, Waffle. I missed Waffle. Yeah, we really need to not be taking headshots. Why didn't I bring any EMP grenades, by the way? He thinks of, like, a little on the late side. Did I bring any? Accidentally? Yes, I did. Yeah, this is not great. I don't really want you guys taking splash damage. Come on over here. Let's get everyone up so they're all within range. Sushi, oh god. You're, like, super within range. Quick, stun it. Everyone else move up. Oh, okay, well, that was easier. Okay, what did we take for damage? Um, your jaw hurts. That's not great. And you took a bruise. Oh, no. And what do we have for mech parts in here? What, actually, what do we have in here? Hive date is what I want. Hive date, only 14 of it? 19 luciferium. Wow. And some advanced components. And some glitter world medicine. Well, this is pretty cool. Let's go, uh, let's go open this up, right? Go ahead and switch back to your weapon. Let's go kill all the guys in here, and then we can disconnect, or I'm sorry, we can disassemble these things really quick and take all the components with us. I don't feel like putting together a machining table to take those things apart. This wasn't so bad, but I'm glad to know what to expect now. 
Um, and yeah, we'll get everyone healed up here momentarily. Just here, spread out just a little tiny bit. Not even like really, come on, just a couple of you here and there. And let's go ahead and let's open one of these things up. Open, um, Sushi, why don't you go ahead and come open it? We'll kill the baddies that are about to come out. Take these things apart super fast. Grab everything and go. Oh, they're all hostile. Okay, well that's less good. Stop shooting my people. All right. See, that was super easy. Claim, deconstruct. Um, I think I have to undraft all y'all. Yep. Um, I realize how much you want to eat sitting on the ground, and that's okay. Those of you who did not immediately decide to eat, why don't you go ahead and deconstruct. Looks like all the rest of these have been... Yep, okay, go ahead. Go ahead and do this. And then we can hit the road basically right away. So hurry up. Do it fast. Oh, and this person should be pulled out. Not because I care, but because I don't want their gear to burn. Okay, are all these apart now? They are. All right. I don't think I need to worry about whether things are forbidden or not, but we'll just do it anyway. Okay, let's reassemble this caravan. So... Well, what can we take? So we can actually take just about everything. Um, we'll take all the food, of course, which isn't very good. Um, mechanoid parts, components, hive data. I wish we had more than 14. Some chips, some advanced components. All the medicine and stuff that we started with. We'll take all the drugs, uh, including the Lucy, which is pretty great. And you guys can just go ahead and head on back. Let's double check your health quick to make sure that everyone's gotten patched up. Yep. Good. Good. And good. Alright. And you guys will be back in 2.6 days. And yes, there's one bed real short. I realize that, and I feel kind of bad about it. But, on this fantastic note, let's go ahead and let's take a break. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.